exit 48 on the right toward James Robertson Parkway. Mm -hmm. Well, welcome to Nashville. The one and only. <laughs> I don't know. In one quarter mile, turn right after the Shoney's, then take the second right. After the what? After the Shoney's? Oh, the Shoney's, of course. <laughs> uh, huh. Take the ramp on the left. I don't. I 24 east toward I 40. See what it is that I'm trying to get to here. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm supposed to be going to a TA, I thought. Is that where we're going? What on earth? I don't know. Supposedly Turn we're at right a TA. right at the traffic light. Then take the second right. Supposedly there's a TA over here. <laughs> uh, huh. It doesn't look like kind of area where there would be one, <laughs> honestly. Uh, I don't know. I guess we're going to find out the hard way. This does not seem right, Sheila D. I do not see a sign for a TA. I just don't. Huh. Uh, well, anyhow, welcome to Nashville. I guess I said that already. And we're uh, rolling just past Turn Nissan right Stadium. The traffic light. Or whatever that's worth. Okay, there's a big truck over there. So, okay, maybe there is a D. Oh, yes, okay, I see a whole bunch of trucks. Alright, good. Wow, yeah, Nissan Stadium. It's all lit up and everything. Well, that's pretty cool. There's nobody in there, but it's lit up nonetheless. for a TA. I'll tell you what. Let's see. Cars entrance. Okay, car entrance. I need truck entrance. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Nashville. Arriving at Travel Centers of America on this the left. Kind of awesome, actually. I think. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, sh son of a bitch. Uh, well, we got we got to go in the back door here, I guess. Please drive to highlighted route. I missed the uh, the entrance. Oops. Do I need fuel? I don't even need fuel. All I need to do is take a break. Ah. Yep, this is just a... Obama stop. I might as well just go ahead and take a reserved spot because I'm only going to be here for a few minutes. Hey. <laughs> well, about 30 of them, I guess. But eh, I guess we'll be proper about it. Let's go up over. Man, where was going to be the best freaking view? That's an amazing view back there, too, of the city. That's pretty incredible looking, actually. city. That's pretty incredible looking. Up there. Wow. Yep. That's pretty amazing. Uh, what do I want to do here? You know what? Sir. 
any attention from other truck drivers. Now what's this guy doing? Just driving around in circles. <laughs> well, we're getting a good view of the parking lot this way. Anyhow, there we go. Let's go ahead and do this one. Either that or maybe up alongside the fence there, but this will work. This should be all right. What a heck of a view, man. That's pretty cool. this puppy too much. Oh, I sure did. <laughs> I don't even know what he said. <laughs> One more time. Just goofing this all up. <laughs> <laughs> Was that really worth it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. All right, break time. <laughs> there you go. Off duty. Done deal. Yeah, here, check this out. So let me try and zoom you in here a little bit. That cool? I don't know if it's going to focus. I don't know. I think it looks cool. Huh. <laughs> Yep. <sighs> well, anyhow, once again, welcome to Nashville. It's uh, 7 4, uh, 734 in the BM out here locally. Temperature 61 degrees, elevation 445 feet, and it is still Thursday, November 19th. I had to double check. Okay, so anyhow, that's a wrap. I'm going to go eat. Hope you all are doing well. I'll see you somewhere down the road. Probably still here in uh, Nashville, I'm guessing. I don't know. <laughs> see ya. Well, okie dokie. Are you choking? Alrighty, Aphrodite. Oh, back at it. Got myself uh, something to eat. Well, made myself something to eat. And uh, I don't know. Uh, it's 
it's getting kind of old, honestly. These little sandwiches that I make. They were actually really delicious at first. At first, when I first started doing this, <sighs> coming out here and loading up my cooler with a bunch of food and making sandwiches, they were really good. But uh, they're just, yeah, they're just starting to get old. Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, Sheila D, I could use a little assistance. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go this way. Hey, it's, it's, this is the way we came. Yeah, I don't know. It's, I guess maybe it's getting to be that time of year when it's like warm food is sounds like the best, you know? I don't know. How many turn lanes have we got? I guess we got this one. But yeah, like warm food, you know, getting in the winter and the turn cold left and all that. The traffic light, then take the second right. I don't know. I think it's just that, yeah, the whole sandwich thing is just getting a little redundant. You know what else is getting redundant? Is Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely getting redundant. And I do, I have it in my windshield. It's coming up soon to be the next couple few hours, couple few hundred miles. Turn right at the traffic light, <clears throat> right. then take the ramp okay. on the left. All right. But, yeah, nevertheless, that's what I ate. Made myself another little sandwich. And uh, I had to kind of force feed it to myself. I don't know. It just, I don't know. So, uh, all right, guys, go for it. All right, everybody's just paralyzed. That guy was letting you in. You were just kind of paying attention to me, I think. Take the ramp on the left to I-24.
from the outlet and uh, just either this morning or yesterday I had noticed that it had started melting and uh, so it was becoming deformed. And so I knew that its hours were numbered, but it was still working. And then so anyhow, so I pulled that coke out and the, and the cokes were sweating, which meant it wasn't getting power and I pulled it out and sure enough, it had gone and just melted even further to the point where it wasn't working anymore. So, so in anticipation of that, on my last break, I had gone and bought, you know, when I, I went and bought uh, extra outlets for the truck and I replaced a couple of them and they work, which is great. And uh, I had also bought either of the two right a, a spare uh, plug in the mail in just so in case one of my, you know, one of them burnt out, you know, I could replace the end. And so I pulled it out of the bag and I was just kind of getting ready to go ahead and like cut off the old one and put a new one on. And I was like, well, I better take a look at the amp rating. And sure enough, the one I bought is only a five amp uh, plug. And the cooler is, I think, rated at seven and a half amps. So basically it would have just kind of been a waste of time to go ahead and put, put that five amp one on there because it would have just melted probably in a matter of hours. So I went inside. I was like, well, maybe they got, you know, uh, plugins that are rated at higher ratings. And uh, lo and behold, they actually had the, uh, the actual whole cord. Uh, so I just went ahead and bought that. But the thing is, is that, you know, they charge the freaking bank for it, you know, like 24 bucks for just this freaking cord, you know. <laughs> Crazy. That's what you get, you know, when you got to buy stuff at truck stops. And everything's just going to be way overpriced because they know you're really kind of stuck, uh, you know. You know, it's not like you can go run over to Ace Hardware in this, you know, big-ass truck, you know. So they stick it to you. They stick it to you in every way they possibly can. So that's what they did. So, yeah, 24 bucks for this this board. What the hell? Uh, they didn't have any uh, spare plugins that I could just swap it out with. So, you know, oh well, whatever. It is what it is. So, anyhow, my cool my cooler's working again. So we'll see how long this cord lasts. I don't know. The, that cord it lasted, you know, a few months. You know, before it finally melted out. So hopefully this one will last too for 24 bucks. Damn well better. I don't understand why they can't just use stronger plastic. Well, yeah, I can. <laughs> they use they use crappy plastic. They use plastic that's not rated for that kind of temperature because then way that way they can sell you plugs, 24 bucks a pop. So basically, at that cost, 24, 25 bucks a pop. If I buy six cords. I might as well just buy a whole new cooler because that's how much the cooler costs, about 150 bucks. So, whatever. That's the world we live in currently. I don't see it ever getting any better. I really don't. But I'm not going to gripe about it right now. I'm not in the mood to gripe. So yeah, so back to what I was saying, uh, Atlanta, yep, <laughs> it, I do, it's in my, uh, it's in the windshield here, we're getting through Nashville so far so good, despite the fact that uh, I was looking on uh, Google Maps uh, to try and get a feel for 
conditions out here and there was a bunch of uh, areas that were all red like the deep dark dark red like meaning the traffic is completely stopped and that was back I don't know 100 miles ago I was looking at that and so that was my other thing <clears throat> about stopping at that TA was it was prior to where the uh, areas were all red so I figured well I stop there, take my break, and hopefully whatever is there will be cleared up. Well, I think we're good. I knock on plastic, of course, here. I'd like to get through Atlanta at night too. That's the other thing. It's uh Oh here we go. What did I say? Yep. There's emergency lights up there. What did I say? I and I you know and I knew better than to say it. I did. I knew better than to say it looks like it's cleared up. <laughs> And, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe this is just construction. I don't know. Hopefully. Nobody's chattering on the radio. I can hear it.
car, you got to push the right pedal there a little bit harder. It's like I'm pushing it as hard as I can, okay? Drive, truck driver. I got it to the floor. <laughs> I bet he does too. It's a Versa. And I like a hybrid or something, probably. I don't know.